Okay, in this video we're going to look at uh, installing the aux locker into a uh, standard axle. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, I've taken uh, taken the bolts out here, so we'll pop the axles out. Took the bolts out already, make it a little bit quicker. Obviously the first thing you got to do is get your axles out. That way the carrier can uh, come out of the housing. Obviously be held in by the axles. Once the axles are out, the next step obviously is to take out the carrier, the stock carrier. These uh, bearing caps are what's holding it in. Of course, we're going to take these bearing caps off. Then we're going to take the carrier out. We'll take the ring gear off of the stock carrier, install it onto the aux locker, uh, and then put it back in, make sure it's shimmed correctly. Uh, our locker is designed to be the exact same size as the stock carrier, so if we're not replacing the ring gear, there's probably not a, probably not going to be a need to re-shim. We'll be able to use the stock shims that are in there, and everything should come out right and get your proper backlash. So let's uh, let's get the carrier out and uh, go to the next step. Okay, when you remove your carrier, you're going to want to make sure you keep the bearing caps both on the same side. Make sure you are back in the same position they came out. Pop them off here. And lay them on each respective side. She should be ready to come out now. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to get in. To get the, when you get the proper backlash on these things, they're in a little bit tight, or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say backlash, I should say preload on these bearings. So you're going to have, might take a little bit of prying to get it out. This one pops out fairly easy. Okay, the bearing, bearing races will probably pop off of there, so be careful. Now that's your stock carrier. We're going to now take the ring gear off of it. And we will install it onto the aux locker carrier. Okay, here's our uh, aux locker. Already pressed the bearings on it to make things go a little bit faster on the video. But obviously, we're going to have to get this ring gear off. I'm making this look a little bit easy because uh, I've already had this apart once before. Let me get those on. Now these these uh, ring gears can be on here pretty good too. Sometimes they might take a little bit of a uh, little bit of a little bit of playing with to get them off. They're very hard. Be careful. Uh, if you you can chip the teeth easily because very hard material. Now on the aux locker there is many different bolt size configurations half inch, 7 16 3 8 um, they're double drilled for 7 16 and half inch if you need 3 8 they also have 3 8 bushings pushed into the uh, 7 16 holes you can what you want to do if you're not using 3 8 whether no matter what size you're using, if you're not using 3 8 knock out all of these bushings. You don't want them to be able to come out when the uh, when it's all installed and lay around into your um, into your housing. Okay, get this ring gear bolted on here. Sometimes it can be a little difficult for one person, but once you get a couple bolts started, it should go pretty smoothly. Get that bolt in there, get that bolt in there, get this all bolted together and ready and I'll, uh, we'll throw it in. Okay, we got the ring gear bolted on. Uh, good idea, obviously, to torque these in a proper torquing pattern. Good idea to use Loctite on them, that way they don't come out. When we took this 
the stock carrier out, these are the shims from the factory. Like I said, they should work, but we're gonna we gotta make sure. Sometimes there are slight variations. Uh, make sure they stay on the same side when you take your carrier out. That way uh, you don't get them mixed up. So now we're gonna take the carrier and pop it in place. A little easier said than done most of the time. Hard to get in there. Right. Okay. Feel the way that slipped in there? It slipped in pretty easy. Um, seems a little light on backlash. Maybe because it's the new bearings. These new bearings are Timken bearings. But uh, now it's installed. A good idea is when these things kind of slip fit, and this it's in there a little tight, tighter than I thought, but. If they're slip fit, you want to add about four thousandths a side to get your proper preload on those bearings. That's a that's a pretty good starting point for preload. And then once this is all in, we'll check backlash once these caps are bolted back on. All back in place. I'll get this all bolted back up and move on to the next frame. Okay, now we got the carrier bolted in place. It's nice and tight. Um, should spin freely, of course. Next thing we're going to want to do is check the backlash to make sure that the gear is set up and, and rides properly with the pinion inside. Um, should have that little bit of rattle that you see. It should have just a little bit of slop. Typically about eight thousandths is what you're going to see on a backlash. Uh, this one here measured about ten when we took it apart. Before I took it apart, I checked it. Uh, we'll take a look and see where we're at. Good idea to check it again. Come in here. Set the tool up. And it looks like we got uh, looks like we got about eleven or so should be okay and now we're ready to uh, install the cover okay now we'll uh, install the cover and uh, this cover is one of the uh, integrated air shift system covers this will be an air shift uh, system a um, couple things we like to uh, not use a gasket here. We just uh, use a little bit of silicone to seal that off. So it's really as simple. You just got to line the fork up with the grooves in the locking ring. Get that all lined up and in place. And I'm just going to put a couple of bolts in here just to. Uh, speed things up along the video. I'm not going to put all ten of them in. Once the cover's on and sealed off with the silicone, everything should be good to go. Which will put all the bolts in, tighten them down. Now, the air shift system is very simple. There's really no adjustments. The fitting on the end here is a swivel fitting, easy to use doesn't really matter uh, where it tightens down you can spin it to the location you want I'm just gonna put a temporary um, setup here so we can shift it and make sure everything works quick fittings quick disconnect fittings make things really simple just gonna hook it up to shop air here I got a air hose fitting on the end of the hose set and that's pretty much it it should uh, be you can hear it lock and unlock and uh, that's pretty much it I'll back out the video frame here and you can see the operation all right I threw the axles in place just temporarily so that you can see how everything works as you can see right now we've got just a plain open differential when you go into lock 
now you're locked. It's just like a spool. Unlock, go right back to open, open differential operation.